Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. This week, I'd like to share three updates. First, around CPAC update. Second, around MCAS student reports. And lastly, around Massachusetts STEM week. And then moving to two shout outs, one at the student level and then one at the staff level. So to start, uh, an update from CPAC. You'll see here on the screen the uh, CPAC most recent update newsletter. This document includes information about an inclusive family kickball event, the next CPAC meeting, a transition planning workshop, and some other notable dates and events. And as always, a huge thank you to CPAC for their leadership in our community. Shifting gears to MCAS, as we shared this past week, uh, DESI released MCAS scores that are now available on DESI's website. And this shares information about our district's performance, both at the district level and at the school level. At the end of next week, families can expect to receive their individual student reports. Uh, so again, that's at the, towards the end of, the next, of next week or early uh, the following week. We'll be mailing them out this upcoming Wednesday, which will give you information about your individual student performance. Uh, if you have questions or want to talk through in more detail, feel free and please reach out to each individual building principal. Uh, also, our last update around STEM week, uh, you'll see here uh, some amazing family resources that were compiled by our K-8 STEM curriculum coordinator, Mrs. Heather Leonard, because uh, Massachusetts STEM week is upcoming, which is October 17th to the 21st. Uh, in addition to some of these resources that uh, Ms. Leonard has put together for families, be sure to check out her blog uh, throughout STEM week, which includes all things relating to STEM. And the blog already includes a post that identifies some fun and cool STEM week options to register for families. Shifting gears to two shout outs. First here on the screen, you'll see some photos of some of our students interacting with monarch butterflies. So keeping on the theme of STEAM. Um, these are our Rise and Wood End students interacting with monarch butterflies. Mrs. Leonard provide all of our elementary schools with monarch eggs and caterpillars as a passive learning opportunity for students to observe the process of metamorphosis and also to provide related facts each week with a QR code and a supporting resource. It's certainly a fun way to bring content to life. So thank you, Mrs. Leonard, and hope all of our students have had fun interacting with the monarch butterflies. And lastly, would like to recognize this past week was National Custodians Day. I'd like to give a huge thank you and shout out to all of our custodial staff across the district. As you know, we, we constantly get positive feedback around the physical condition of our buildings and our classrooms and just how clean they are and um, how that creates such a warm and welcoming learning environment for our students. Uh, and this is a testament to the effort uh, and the tireless work of our custodial staff. So uh, this past week, again, celebrating National Custodian Day, please take a minute to recognize and thank uh, some of our amazing custodial staff across RPS. So thank you, everyone. We hope you have a great weekend. Go Rockets!